Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. Today is September the 20th, 2019, and today I got a package in the mail. A huge package from a very generous benefactor. And without showing it too much, huge box. Six pounds, 13 ounces worth. That's a crazy amount of packaging. But he wrote me this wonderful little letter. Uh, Dear Marilyn Darling Show, enclosed is some random assortment of items that I hope may be of use and enjoyment. If by chance I have sent an item that you have no use for or do not enjoy, Please pass them on to a pen, friend, or charity. Your benefactor, F. Now, thank you, F. That was very nice. <clears throat> um, I really appreciate everything that you sent me. Like, there's just so many things that my heart, it's just... I'm so grateful for everything that you sent, and it really, really had me going last night. I'm sitting there trying to make a cake, and all of a sudden I'm balling up, and my roommates are looking at me like, what the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> and so I had to take a night and uh, process everything so I wouldn't get so emotional, because when people send you stuff like this that costs lots and lots and lots and lots of money... It's just, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to accept. And I am so thankful and grateful for people and friends like you guys. And <clears throat> I hope that you guys continue to be wonderful and supportive. And anything that you guys send me will get used to benefit the show. So uh, one of the things that I got was this cute, a couple of cute little things. This is one of my favorite things ever. I always see these in people's videos and I'm like, where did you get that? I totally want some. And then I go and drop it on the floor. <clears throat> but I am super grateful and thank you so much. And it's going to take me a while to go through all of the stuff, but eventually it will get shown and, and enjoyed by all, I'm sure. Anywho, um, he also gave me a whole bunch of pens and some paper and some ink, so we're going to be looking at that. He gave me some glass vials, which are really cool, and like a whole bucket of pens that we're going to go through, and like a very small mountain I'm gonna show you a very very small mountain of paper goods like that's a lot of stuff and this tablet is gonna be one of my favorite things right here for writing letters with because it fits in three and five eighths inches by six and a half inches envelopes this is a five and three quarters by eight and three quarters inch tablet. So this will fit in the six by six and a half inch letters, which is brilliant because it's so hard to like take um, like a nine by 13 or a nine by 12 or, you know, normal size papers, 10 and a half by, it's never a dull moment. <laughs> That's for sure. But I'm really grateful for everything that you've sent, and um, thank you so much. And I don't know how I could ever repay you for sending me all this wonderful stuff, especially some of these pins in here, which I've never even heard of. This one is, it's, what you miss? Fungi along? Fuji, F-U-G-U-I-L-O-N-G. Fuji along? At any rate, it came with a, a 1.5 millimeter stub, which is awesome. Thank you so much. And 
and I've already taken I put, a lot of these pins have um bladder sacks which I have never worked with before and I am kind of terrified to work with them because so you can't some of them are black you can't see inside of them others are clear which are more useful because <clears throat> you can see what's going on but I immediately took that 1.5 millimeter stub and put it on my Genhao 992 because I thought, ooh, that's going to make for some very interesting calligraphy. Can you... At any rate, you'll have to believe me, it's a 1.5 millimeter stub. Which Genhao makes. It's a number five nib. And, uh, it's gonna be the star when I'm using my Kainai do Nepal because, oh my goodness. Now this <clears throat> is going to be my new favorite carry pen. Look how tiny it is. It looks huge on my forehead. Don't notice my huge forehead. But this is the cutest pen ever. What did I do with my measuring device? This is a whopping three and a half inches long. <laughs> three and a half inches long. It's so cute. It's only eight, eighty, eighty-eight millimeters, which is super tiny, probably even tinier than my Pilot Petite One. But, oh my gosh, I love it. It is. Get in my bag. <laughs> There's my Pilot Petite One. And there this pen is in comparison. So tiny. Oh my god, I can't believe how tiny it is. And it comes with a bladder, com a bladder converter. Which, I, I'm really not sure about these bladder converters. I have to go. Sorry about that. My husband was calling. Anyway, so this it comes with a little bladder converter, which has a sheath on it, and then it comes with a little. You press it, and it presses down the the sack to let all the air out, and then you suck the air up, turn it one side, push it again, nip it. Let go, pull it up. I don't know exactly how to tell if these are clean or not. That is the one thing about hooded nibs that I do not like. I do not like knowing, I do not like not knowing if it's clean or not. It's kind of a stressful thing, really. And this has to be like one of the tiniest nibs. I've ever seen. It's so cute! I love it. Okay, so sorry, I'm freaking out a little bit. But this is definitely going in my carry on bag. It's called a Space. Space 3009. It has the same logo as the Lomba Tau. Is it a Lomba Tau? I don't know look it up at any rate I'm gonna go now because I have to go to the fit to the post office to the letter uh, uh, a letter to F thank you for FD for sending me such a generous care package I just I love it I got the handwritten journal the handmade journal with handmade paper is my favorite right next to this little tiny pen so, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but that's going to be something special. We've got some great paper that goes like Tomoe River. A, 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 little, a couple of samples of Rhodia Dot Grid, 80 GSM, some fountain pen friendly Yobu paper found at tar Target, a Walmart pocketbook some 
sugar cane paper, some note cards and envelopes. Oh my gosh. And then I've got all the stuff that came in this pen box. Oh my goodness. It's going to take me years to go through all this stuff. But I am grateful. Anyway, that's all for right now. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, love you, bye. Mwah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today is September 20th, 2019, and it is Friday. Friday, Friday. Gotta get down with Friday. Okay, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> today we're looking at Noodler's Midnight Blue. And this is what it looks like. This is a very beautiful, shaded, dark blue. Dark. It's very dark, as we will see in some of the papers. I did find a sample on Goulet pens for $1.25. <clears throat> a three mil sample on wonderpens.ca for a th uh, two mil sample for $1.75. They also have um, a bottle for $17, but mm, <clears throat> when you can go to Pen Boutique and get one for $11.25, that, that, that's where it's at. So go to Pen Boutique if you're looking for Noodler's Pens. That's a really good price. Otherwise, Goulet, <coughs> Anderson Pens, Pen Lover's Paradise, Paper and Plume, iPen Store, these all have it for $12.50. Um, Jet Pens has it for $13. Amazon has it for $19.31 and free shipping, which I don't know if you like. It's going to be like at least $5, maybe $8 for shipping. So you're looking at 20 here. So you might as well, you know, get free shipping. Of course, if you want Goulet, you get, you know, the lollipop, and you'd be supporting them, which I totally am all about. I'm all supporting the creator, and <clears throat> they have been really great over the last year that I've been using their services, and they're fantastic. And they do offer, I think, overnight shipping, which is crazy, but it costs like $45. At any rate, that's that. <clears throat> Alrighty then, let's get into the journal for the day. It's already late. It's 3.36 in the afternoon. And today, I had to take the day off because yesterday was a day. Today is September the 20th. been using my stickers very much because I move them to do something and now I'm bringing it back I'm bringing back the stickers folks so yes <clears throat> this is the Crayola crayons colors against this and you can definitely tell it is a very blue it's a very black blue very, very dark blue-black ink. Like, it is somewhere between blue and black. If blue and black were friends. Alright then. Let's get into the other papers, shall we? And we have some new paper that we're going to be 
looking at today and I'm really excited about it. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's do the envelope, shall we? Now oh, this ink is totally awesome. Uh, did I turn the paper over in the back? I don't know if I did. I'm going to look real quick. Let's see. And there is no bleed through on the back. I totally use the back side of this paper. Okay. Sorry about that. It took a little turn. I need to uh, double check because sometimes you don't know. Let's look at yesterday's ink. Yesterday's ink was Diatromentus Steel Blue. And this is how it came out of the bath test. And this was in there for a very long time because I put it in there forgot about it, left, came home, made a cake, came upstairs, went back downstairs after an hour, realized that the cake hadn't been cooked yet, which the oven is doing weird things. We got a brand new oven and it's weird. So I started the oven again, made sure it was on this time, then went back upstairs realize that this hadn't been taken out for almost 12 hours, took it out of the bath test, laid it to rest, it dried, and this is how it came out. So, this is a really good test to say that Diatromento Steel Blue is where it's at. This is hardy stuff. So, I just thought you all ought to know that. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna, since this is a newish ink to me, now, I don't remember writing down which inks Chris gave me and which inks um, that I got in the Goulet box. I know I got 16 of them because I got double the 8. So, I'm not sure exactly which ones that Chris gave me. I'm going to have to really go back and see. I'll go back last month's journal and look it up. But, I can't remember which ones she sent me. Anyway, so... Yes. Very reminiscent of yesterday's ink but maybe a shade or three darker, which is cool. This is Mead. <clears throat> Ten and a half by seven and a half. And it does bleed through a little bit, but probably not to the point where it would bother me. Maybe just some heavy ghosting. So I would totally use the back side of this paper. All right, the next on the chopping block, <clears throat> just kidding, is CVS Caliber Notebook, six inches by four inches. Don't smear this right after you uh, put it down because it's going to take a couple of seconds for it to dry very wet ink. After about 10 seconds it's dry, so that's good. And no bleed through on the back of this paper. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Time to move the mark. Time to move the mark. Time to move the mark to a better spot. Okay. Okay. Alright, this is Walmart Pen and Gear memo book it doesn't say memo uh, um, paper and pen and gear but I know that this is the same type of FC FSC mix paper that is in that book um so we're gonna look at that I need a new paper have to move the mark have to move the mark okay sorry Ooh, that's a slick ink. 
and very little to no blade through on the back. I would totally use the back side of this paper. All right then. Next is the Fabriano Eco Croix. The Fabriano Eco Croix 85 GSM. Ooh, it's a liquidy ink. Very, very potent. And there is no blade through on the back. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Cool. All right, let's move on to some cheaper type of paper. We're going to move on to the Healed Backard 24 pound 90 gram printer paper. Ooh. That's interesting. Like, didn't even smear a little bit on it. Wow, that dried fast. There's a little bit of bleed through. Yeah, there's totally a lot of bleed through. Or maybe just some heavy, heavy ghosting. But I would totally use the back side of this paper. For the majority, you can only tell when I when I printed that it bled through and maybe on the hashtags. But other than that, normal writing should be fine in a medium or fine nib. Plus I'm using a 1.1 millimeter stub, so that has to be taken into consideration. <clears throat> All right, now we're getting into construction paper, which I have no idea how heavy this is, but construction paper, this one has like a, a coat of something on it, so. Ooh, goodness, this is a very liquidy ink. Also a pen, the pen too could make a difference if you're using maybe a drier pen. Some paper, some pens write really dry. This one just writes really wet and I love it. All right, so we're gonna have a new piece of paper now that this generous pen effector sent. It's Claire Fontaine. And I know that you're all excited about Claire Fontaine. Now, the only problem that I have with this book is that it is French roll, which I'm not against French roll, but this kind of brings me back to when I was a teacher. It was a many moons ago. Oh boy, I can barely tell where the lines are. So let's give this a go. Oh crap, I already messed up. Oh, this. Paper makes me dizzy. Ooh. This paper has the same type of coating that the construction paper has, only it's smoother. Claire Fontaine and the the ninety gram uh, the. 24 pound 90 gram uh, printer paper have very similar feel. Oh, this is 90 gram paper. So these are both the same weight of paper. Let's see how they fare on the back side of this paper. There is no bleed through on the back of this paper. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Claire Fontaine, huh? Wow. Moving up in the world. Check that out. All right. There's some subtle shading going on here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is definitely some subtle shading going on. Cool. All right. Now let's move on to the visual journal. I'm going to apologize. This video is going to run very long today. But <clears throat> I'm having a sick day. So cough, cough. This is what happened yesterday in the visual journal. It looked like a crazy storm going on. It was very intense. 
All right, let's mark the paper before we start, shall we? All right then. Let's see about this paper, shall we? Let's Well, another no. That looks so cool. Anyway, I hope that this was enjoyable for some of you. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, love you. Bye.